hello my name is Sai and today I'll be teaching you how to create this gradient map blur text animation effect in DaVinci Resolve. So first I'm going to start off by grabbing a text plus node and I'm going to just type out whatever I want. I'm just going to type in blur for this use case and I'm just going to choose aerial bold and I'm going to grab a very blur. I'm going to go set it to defocus, set the quality to 10, set the blur channel to luma and turn up the blur to about 15. Actually we'll do blue 20. And then we're going to grab a fast noise. This is what's going to power where the blur is placed within the effect. So input then to the green channel. We're going to open up this fast noise here. We're going to go to color gradient. We're going to set this to radial. We're going to set the start to the center of the screen. So 0.5. And we're going to go over to the detail, turn up just a tiny bit, turn up the contrast and turn up the brightness a little bit as well. And just keep the scale about two. Actually, we'll turn the detail back down to two and turn up the scale to about three. I'm just gonna trap the seed a little bit. That seems good. And then we're gonna go into this color over here. We're gonna animate this offset here. We're gonna start out fully blurred out. I'm gonna go to the end of the comp and turn this up to wherever, like about here is fine. It looks pretty nice. You can also kind of make this more circular shape by bringing in the end point of the radial uh, gradient. I like the way this is looking so far, but I'm going to go into the scale here and kind of just decrease this Y scale so it's a little stretched out. I think that looks nice. We're going to go back into the splur here and make sure it's on Luma still. We play it back. Um, then it shows blur disappearing over time. But you did notice that these the blurred edges are being cut off right here. That's because of the domain of the text. If we go up here to the three dots, go to region, show DOD. Um, the domain of the text is determining where the blur can be placed uh, within the composition. And the way we can fix that is go be to the text plus node and add a set DOD or set domain node. And we're going to go over here to the mode and set, adjust it to set. So now um, the blur is applied everywhere within the composition. The blur can go to these edges if the blur were to go past these edges or like the um, size of the blur were to go outside of these edges which in our case it probably won't um then you need to adjust this um size of the dod but in this case we don't need to obviously since the blur is only going about here um so i think that looks pretty nice uh i might might uh go back to this offset and increase it a little bit so it starts out with a little bit of variation already. I'm just going to go into the fast noise offset, make sure I ease these keyframes by selecting them, pressing control A and pressing S to smooth them out. I'm going to close the spline tab now. I think it looks pretty nice. And then we're going to grab a bump map node and we're going to grab a grain node and pop this very blur into the grain node and we're going to go over to the power and set it about 25 and we're going to go into the spread over here we're going to select this last point down here we're going to move this out value to zero um, what this does is essentially it moves uh the grain to only affect the edges of the um every single channel so um as you notice here it, once the value meets a full value of white it's no longer being added to that area. If we set this back to one, then the grain is being applied into that white area, but we don't want that because because of our gradient effect and how that works. The way the gradient effect works, uh, we'll get into it in a moment. moment. But here, I'm just gonna also um, select all of these and type in or and hit I, which uh, creates a step in spline, so that it makes the edges here a little harsher. In this case, I might not do that. I'm going to set that back to linear and kind of just adjust it a little bit. The edges are cut off pretty hard, but they're not fully hard. There's still a little bit of easing there in the graph um, from the spreading. Then we're going to input this grain into the bitmap node here. I'm going to set this bitmap to luminance. And as you can see, it just makes everything uh black and white so we can input this into a fast noise node to create the um gradient map effect what we're going to do is take this bitmap output and plug it into the noise brightness map here we're going to set the scale to one or just set to zero and we're going to set the brightness to one and then go to color gradient and set the offset to 0.5 
So <clears throat> basically what's happening here is we're taking the black and white values or the alpha black and white values from the grain and inputting them into the bitmap channel. So then we're creating an alpha channel so then we can apply them to the brightness map of the fast noise, which creates um, a using the gradient here. It's taking each black and white value and assigning them to whatever value that you assign here. So if I go in here, and I just create a red. This point uh, between black and white here will be all red. But yeah, using that principle, we can create some really nice uh, looking gradients. And what I'm going to do here is just kind of make some sort of gradient that I like. I'm going to usually I do like a darker color here um, and then bring it out a stronger, more saturated color. Uh, I'm actually going to do like a purplish color here and then like a blue and then like a red maybe no we're gonna do a green here reddish yellow we move out here looks pretty nice just move it in and then near the end of the animation this looks pretty nice I like the way this is looking but yeah that's basically all you need to do for this another thing i'm going to add here is a displace i'm just going to go to after this set domain and add a displace node and I'm gonna add a fast noise node um, and then just kind of mess around with the settings here. You don't have to keep them exactly how I keep them, or uh, how I'm doing them. Pop this into the foreground here. And then animate this um, displace value. And I'm just gonna turn up the seed rate so that it's animated. Actually, I'm gonna place this after the displace when it displaces the or after the very blur, so it displaces the blur as well. I'm gonna pop the spline tab again and use this um, displacement by selecting the keyframes, pressing S, pressing T, and then uh, adjusting this ease out and ease in value here. Uh, but yeah, I think that it's looking pretty nice. Uh, if you want to have a bunch of extra um, gradient map presets like already ready to use, so you don't have to do this bitmap process here, you can go into the description and I have a We Suck Less form uh, linked. Uh, this is a macro made by Just Crop It. Um, they make some really nice um, macros. Uh, some of them are a bit laggy and you always have to make sure you read the notes. Uh, for example, this one is only uh, usable on 19.1 or higher. If you're a um, user of the free version, uh, you will not want to use this version. So the gradient map, gradient map it regular version is you can use that one on any version uh, below 19.1, uh, but gradient map it X requires 19.1. Uh, I'm going to be using gradient map it XL. Um, and basically all this is, is just the same setup here, the bitmap and the fast noise, but it's a bunch of different presets. Uh, I really like this one. Um, you can also go into the, uh, pre-crush value and kind of change it so that it changes how the values get assigned. You can also change how it's being applied to the image here. Well, yeah, I think, I think this would be the more optimal way of uh, just like finding out what you want or like what you like in this case um kind of like this one here so i'm going to keep this one for the final product here and i'm just going to inside of here i'm going to take this grain node and apply that to the effect mask of the gradient map and then bring down this high value on the alpha um so that's how you'd make it make the background like transparent uh, but yeah you can use you can also use any type of grain that you want uh I'm not sure how you'd go about doing this spread thing uh, to make it only apply to the edges on other grain nodes, but if you know a way, then go for it. But yeah, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them to the best of my abilities. But yeah, thank you for watching.